Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. Let's Summon Demons is based off the artwork of Stephen Rhodes, where it's kind of played for a parody or a comic that these kids are summoning demons. And you kind of have that mentality when you go into the game. In this one, it's kind of a, like a Machi Koro space-based kind of game. Each round, you're going to be able to use your resources of souls to purchase different uh, people, kids, in the hope of trading those in to get demons. And when you trade those into the demons, you get enough of those demons, you will win the game. Every round, when you purchase those people and demons, they'll have numbers on them. So every round, you'll roll the dice, and you'll activate all those numbers. So everybody's kids will activate, but when you roll the dice, only your demons can activate. And your demons are much more powerful, and that's kind of what you're doing. So it's a little bit of a resource management, very simplistic, combined with that Machikoro space space, roll the dice, everything activates on the board. So do you get the smaller numbers, like a 12 that isn't rolled as much, but it's a heavy-duty power, or do you go for like the six, seven, eights? that will come up more often, but they're not as powerful. And that's kind of the rub of what you're doing here. If you like Machi Koro and you're looking for like a theme, uh, th this little parody theme on it, you're going to like this quite a bit. This is one I'm keeping. I actually like the three games in the set. They're very light, gateway type games, but it worked for me. This is probably the crunchiest of the three. I think it's probably my favorite of the three. If I was going to get one, it's probably the one I would get. Although some people are going to be turned off by the Let's Summon Demon kind of name, but it's all played for laughs and parody. Nothing is to be taken seriously. For me, this is a keeper. I like this one quite a bit, one I can easily recommend to you. Here is Let's Summon Demon's little box set that comes in the Stephen Rhodes series. You can open it up. You're going to get a rule book, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. You're going to get these little uh, cardboard chits that are represent souls, but they look like contracts. You're going to get uh, two custom dies. They're big and chunky. You can see one side is a candle, one has a pentagram, and the other side has just numbers on them. Then you're going to get a stack of circular cards. I'm not crazy about circular cards. Kind of hard to uh, shuffle, but and they're a little thin. But that's okay because the price point is pretty cheap. Everybody's going to have a candle. You can see a candle with numbers on it. These are the demons, Battle Bad Dog and... Uh, Dog Moran, they all have uh, Voodoo, Demon Queen, etc. And they're all just kind of played for laughs, if you will. These will be the cards that you'll be getting. These all have parodies. Rotten Dolores from uh, Harry Potter. Sweet Marilyn Monroe, right? Rotten Calvin. Uh, Rotten Regan. Uh, Lola. And these all just have comical things on them. You can see the name. They're going to have a power. And they're going to have a number down here that you'll see on them. Uh, they're really cute. I think the artwork is really cute. Of course, it's Stephen Rhodes. So it's, it's, it's super duper cute. Uh, the only thing I don't like is a circle, but it kind of plays into the wackiness that you're doing in this game. Here's the rule book. It's very small. It's, it's white on black, which isn't great, but the rules are very simple to, to read. I didn't have any problems. You can see a little bit of an explanation down here. You got a fact at the back that kind of goes through and explanation of the cards and stuff. So it's actually a pretty good rule book. I like it very much. The game is very simple. You'll be able to pick it up very easily. This is what the setup's going to look like. Everybody's going to start with their own candle. You're going to have five souls of your currency. You're going to have five of these that are purchasable. And everybody will start out with three demons that you're trying to build. So you have three possible actions on a turn. The first thing you do is spend three souls, and you can buy any card from this center that you want. Now, what these are going to have is different keywords, like sweet on them, rotten. You're going to have a number you're trying to reach to and a power on it. Uh, so let's say that I wanted to pick up the uh, sweet Caroline. So I'd get her. I'd buy her. You can only buy one per turn. Now I have her on my side, and then you'd refill the deck up there. The second thing you do is you can buy one of your demons. You need three of these in order to win the game. Uh, what you could do is if you had three of these kind of cards here that you've purchased from the middle, it doesn't matter if it's a person, animal, or whatever, you can give those up, and you could put your demon out. So that's the second possible thing. The only thing you must do on a turn is roll the dice. And when you roll these dice, you will activate... Any of these cards that you have in front of you. So let's say I rolled a double two. I would collect five souls uh, and I would activate her power. And everybody at the board would do that. If you have a demon down, only demons are only activated on your turn. So if I roll a four uh, on somebody else's turn, he would not activate only on my turn. If I get three demons out, I win the game. It's a very simple uh, game that you're going to have here as you're playing through and you're activating the cards in front of you. Who should buy this game? 
Fans of the artwork, first and foremost, are going to collect all three of these games. I think there's three more coming out, maybe more in the future. But this will be definitely something you'll want if you're a fan of the artwork. It's a light gateway-style game, so if that's going to appeal to you, like a filler. Resource management with that roll the dice and everything kind of activates thing, which is really, really fun, very popular right now. Um, I think that's going to be appealing for people. You know, if you're not into the demon thing and it turns you off or something, then you're not going to want this because that's what this game is and you're, you're trading souls and stuff. It's not going to be appealing to everybody. But it's not intended to be. So for me, I like this one. It's a keeper. The whole set was really good for like little gateway filler games. And the artwork is very funny to me. Uh, the parodies in the game were, were comical and I liked it quite a bit. So it's a keeper, one I can easily recommend.